let's take a look at the window API for the Arcade library. So if you scroll down, you will find the quick API index and here is the window API. So let's just open it in a new tab. And here are all the functions available. So you can close the window, you can create an orthogonal projection, uh, you can finish the render, you can get the projection, so and also set, uh, get the scaling factor, get the viewport, get the window, uh, quick run for testing, uh, you can schedule an interval, so it will be, you can create a function which will be called every every interval seconds. And yes, we can set the background color for the window, and I'm going to start with this function. So if you open it up, you can call it by arcade.set background color, it, it, and it takes a color union. So let me take a look here after the window that set location. I'm going to call the arcade dot set background color. And for the color, I'm going to use the arcade.color module. And in the color module, you can find all sorts of predefined colors. So, so let's say color.red. And if you open this up, here is the all the available colors you can define or you can use rather. So there's lots of colors you can use for the background. Not just for the background bar, but for all sorts of uh, things. So I'm just uh, going to do the arcade.color red. And if you run now the application, the background is still just black. So because, first of all, we need to create another method which, uh, which inherits I mean, this method is inherited from Pilot to Arcade, and it's called the onDraw. So on underscore draw method, and in the onDraw method, uh, first I'm going to just pause, and in the onDraw method, you need to call this function. Let me see, <laughs> start render function. So if you open it up, get set up to render. Required, required to be called before drawing anything to the screen. So it, not, it is not enough just to set the background color because as you can see it's still black and if you call the arcade.start render function in the onDraw method now the background color for our window is red. And uh, yeah, I don't like this red, so I'm going to change this to, let's say, green. Green, let me see. Mm, it's still too bright for my eyes, so I'm just going to set it to color.black. Oops, color.black. And now we have a black window, I mean the color of the window. And this set background color, if you open this up using the middle mouse wheel, as you can see, it uses the GLP color function. So you get it, you uh, add to it colors, and it just divides all the colors by 255. So it will be range from zero to one. And if you go and open up the arcade window source code. As you can see, the arcade that window inherits from pilot that window that window, and this is this is uh, useful to know because you can go to the pilot documentation and you can find uh, windowing, and you can find all sorts of uh, pilot related uh, things you can set up in a window. Let's say this function uh, here, this cell that set location. This is inherited from the Pilot window, so if you go to the Pilot window documentation, you will find this. You can set the mini minimum size, the maximum size, and here it is window that set location. So by calling this function, as you can see, it now the windows window always appears in the same location. So 400 pixels from from the upper left corner of your uh, screen and 200 pixels down 
to this position, to the upper left corner of the window. So the next thing I'm going to do, so here is the window class for the arcade, which inherits from the pilot the window, that window, and here are some of the settings you can set when you create a, an arcade window. So here we created, we added the width and the height and the title, but you can also, so here is the width, which is by default 800, we overwritten it with 280, height, which is by, by default 600, we overwritten the height uh, with 720, and we also overwritten the title, and you can also set the full screen, which is by default false, you can set it to true to actually get a full screen window. You can set the resizable to true if you want one uh, want a resizable window, as you can see it by default set to false, so you cannot resize this window if you want to resize it it a non resizable window here is the update rate so this is uh, how many times your application updates itself so it is one over 60 or 60 frames per second and uh, this is about uh, so one over 60 so every 0 0.016 milliseconds and the anti-aliasing anti is also set to true by default. So uh, let me try this resizable. So here I'm going to just just uh, make the here in the super dot init make the resizable equal to true. And let me see. So now we have a window which can be which is a resizable window. So if you want, make sure to put the resizable equals true into the super that in it. I'm going to delete this. If you want to get the, uh, let me see, here it is. If you want to get the, let's say the projection matrix for this window, you can use the get underscore projection function. So here I'm going to print it out. So print arcade dot get uh, underscore projection and it will return a numpy array which is the orthogonal projection matrix for this uh, application or for this window and you can also as i said earlier create an orthogonal projection and uh, set bigger set you can also set the viewport so this sets what coordinates the window will cover. By default, the lower left coordinate will be 0, 0, and the top y coordinate will be the height of the window in pixels, and the right x coordinate will be the width of the window in pixels. If a program is if a program is making a game where the user scrolls around a larger word, this command can help out. So yeah, you can create a viewport, something like a 2D camera, or yeah. 2D camera or 2D viewport into a larger world. And here is the start renderer, I already covered this. So here are some uh, functions, you can just go to the documentation and read about these functions if you want to know more. And also as I, uh, as I said, I recommend you to go to the Pilot window API and also take a look at, at uh, this one because uh, you can use also the Piglet uh, functionalities and also all the Piglet related stuff in Arcade as well.